So as they begin to pray, as they begin to um, praise and worship, if you need personal prayer or ministry time, feel free to come up. We'll join you in praying for whatever that is you're asking God for tonight. There'll be people here, Pastor Don, myself, Mary Jo, others. We'll be up here to pray with you. If you just need a few moments by yourself, go kneel down, spend some time on your own. But don't leave here without expecting great things from God. Man, He wants to work in our lives. Let us stop walking around as defeated believers, but let us walk in the might and the power of the Holy Spirit. The altars are now open. Come like a promise, you would. I want to surrender for good. I know that I and I don't want to keep living life alone. So take my heart and make it new and make it true and make it like you. Take my hand, I lift them high. Veil's not mine.
Take my heart, so take my heart and make it new and make it true, make it like you. Take my hands, Lord, we lift them high and lift them high. There's not mine to do, do what you will. Do what you will, do what you will, come on and do what you will, do what you will, do what you will, do what you will, come and have your way, come and have your way, do what you will, do what you will, do what you will. Hallelujah. I have the fourth prayer focus, and it's um, a heart of thanksgiving. On, in 1 Thessalonians 5, 16, it says, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, giving thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. We all know that we go through trials, tribulations, and he tells us no matter what, continue to pray and believe and have faith. Amen. That's what we're called as Christians. We're warriors, right? No weapon formed against us can prosper. No wave can take us out. We're standing firm and standing strong. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, what a great joy it is to stand up here tonight, Father God, and have the prayer focus to be a heart of thanksgiving, Father God. We know as Christians, Lord, that you, Father God, has given us the best gift of all, so we thank you for that right now. But what an example you've given us, Father God, to just have hearts that stay steadfast no matter what comes our way, no matter if we're in abundance or in lack, Father God, you tell us to give, not just for the month of November or because it's Thanksgiving, but every day, Lord. So we just thank you that this church is a church that gives abundantly, that gives hilariously, Lord Jesus. We pray over our outreach, Father God, that, Lord, you just put it on the hearts of all of the people that call themselves journeyers, Lord Jesus, to come and come in abundance with gobs and gobs of um, canned goods and um, baked goods. We know that people are home baking bread and being ready to um, just have extra special blessings inside of those buckets, Lord. So we thank you that you will provide for the people of Journey in a huge way, Lord Jesus, that no one finds themselves in lack because they're such givers, Lord, that as we give to you, you give back, Father God, pressed down, shaken together and overflowing, Father God, in many ways. We thank you, Lord, that you've given us such examples inside of your word, Lord Jesus. We know the Good Samaritan and saw an injured man and gave him, Father God, a physical need that he had, Lord Jesus. We know that um, Boaz gave to Ruth when she needed food, that he provided wheat for her, Father God. And you, Lord Jesus, giving yourself and, and hanging on the cross, giving the biggest gift to us, salvation, Father God. May we all just gird up those things that we see in your word and live them out abundantly, Lord Jesus. We thank you for giving us the example of a heart filled with thanksgiving, Lord. May it just overflow in this house. May it bubble over, Father God. May people see us on the street and know who we are, that we are yours because of our giving, Lord Jesus. May you make each and every one of us an example. May we not hurt, may we not hunger, Father God, but even in in our lack that we would understand, Father God, what it is to give. We love you, Lord. We thank you. And we praise you for the hearts in this place, Father God, that get that. And the ones who don't give them that revelation, Lord Jesus, because their lives will never be the same again. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. There's a peace I've come to know. Though my heart and flesh may fail, there's an anchor for my soul. 
There's a day, there's a day that's drawing me, when the darkness breaks to light, and the shadows disappear, and my faith shall be There's a peace I've come to know Though my heart and flesh may fail There's an anchor for my soul And I say it is 